Simon, they've been dumped out of the cup by a 22-18 famous cup victory by the Halifax Panthers today. How are your nerves after that one? Yeah, it was a stressful watch, wasn't it, to be fair. Um, we had a few saboteurs in our team that tried to keep Fev with us. Um, to be honest, I thought there were probably a few more points in it for us if we don't come up with some post first half, some play two, Louis passes over the top, never on. Aribi can knock on, play two or three, you know, five, six metres off their line. I think if we'd have just been a bit more patient and spent a bit more time, we could have got a few more points out of it. But that said, it, it wasn't perfect by any means. It was an absolute calamity at times. The last couple of minutes was madness. And, you know, Lachlan's, yeah, but for Lachlan's spaghetti arms, I think we'd have been very, very sour now, to be fair. Um, but look, I've said it last week, confidence, it's a, it's a strange thing. Um, but certainly got a little bit out of battle. And today, the desire, effort, mateship, togetherness, I can keep going with all them sort of words, was, was on display when I think everyone could see that. And that's what we're about. The last time one year was 2017. I played in that team, we weren't nearly as talented as this one, but we did have that mateship and togetherness and that really nice to see to see that on display today. As I say, it weren't perfect, but I think it's a really good win for us. One of the ways you didn't mention there was character, and that's what we've had for the last couple of years. How pleasing it to see us coming back from that early Feb score, but then them coming back to equalise to finish the game off with Louis' try. Yeah, I think we started the game really well. Um, Feb's try was somewhat against the grain. I think, again, it was the story of our season so far. Penalty, penalty on your try line, they creep over. Um, our own worst enemy at times. But as I say, today was about coming um, and having a performance you can come off and be proud of and look each other in the eye, and, irrespective of what the result would have been. Um, moving into next week to make sure we have a good performance again. And that's us as coaches and maybe not players, they think about the results, but the coaching staff are always looking at the performance element and we definitely took some steps forward today. And you know, on to the next one now, you've got to enjoy it. We'll enjoy it tonight, we'll have, we'll have a beer together now, I think, and, and um, talk about some of the nonsense that went on on the field. But yeah, we'll, we'll just crack on with the next one and hopefully take some of that confidence forward. I know you're playing it down a little bit, but a performance and a result like that does send a statement out for the rest of the league that we, we do mean business for 2023. Is, is that the case? Um, I don't know. I think Bradford are really close the other night. Um, I said before the game, I'm not saying it's an absolute blueprint to beating Featherstone because they could have quite easily beat us today, but I think they're a big team and you've got to do your bit well, you know, complete high, stay in the fight really and, and stay in it until that final that final quarter and, and then see where you're at because that's when the bigger blokes that they've got find it a bit more difficult to get around the field and whatnot and I think that, that showed today. I don't know what exact minute Louis try was on there but it was getting on into that, that final quarter and, and Louis come up with a running play which I've been into him uh, plenty about run the ball just because you've got six and seven on your back doesn't mean you're just a shoveler, you, you have to carry the ball as well and he's really good at it so happy for him to get over today. And he almost tried to give it back to him at the end there, didn't he? Um, we did come back, come back from the behind a, a couple of times. Um, how, how good will that be throughout the, the, the season to show that, that character from coming behind, but also um, making a statement on the day was shown on Sportsman today as well for the fans that, that, that chose to stay away today? Yeah, well, listen, you'd rather be up by 40 and not having to worry about chasing games and whatnot. But yeah, it does definitely just show character and, and some desire and, and go through all them adjectives again. Um, yeah, the fans, I thought we had a decent turnout today. Fev's a, ho Fev's a hostile place and we never we never get a great following here. Um, but it was it was a bit different end of this one. It was a bit quieter than it normally is. Normally, you don't get as much stick, actually. When you lose, you don't get as much. You know, I'll get a win today, copped a bit, but we'll take that for the win. You mentioned Louis Dufay, man of the match performance, but a way for Jacob Fairbank as well, 200 Halifax game. He's been through the trenches. How good is it to, to, to get that win in his 200 game? Yeah, 200 foot club, local lad, absolutely loves it here. Bob, um, along with a couple more, they sort of, they're the epitome of our team, how Bob plays um, and what, what he values. Bob, massive on togetherness, mateship, effort. Um, and yeah, it would have been a, would have been a, a shame had we not had a you know give a good account of ourselves today and what is such a good game as I've said in an interview previous there we've had a number of milestones over the last couple of years some blokes that have served this club well for a long time and, and we haven't always got the result at the end of it so for him you know, I think that's a really good win and um, I want to enjoy I'm sure I want to look back on. Keith, next week is it one of those where 
this kind of doesn't matter if we if we go and lose against Keith or we build a momentum. Well, it never the the one whether you've won it lost it it never matters. You shift your attention to the next one. Um, Keith will be a tough contest. They've got some re really good players in the team. It's just not gone their way yet. Um, where it ain't gone our way that much, to be honest. Batley can say the same, Barrow can say the same. It's been a really funny and indifferent start to the season. I mean, Widness pumped us and then went away and, and you know and got drilled over at, at Sheffield. It's, it's an odd one, really. But no, I think we'll just uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll dig in. We'll prepare best we can. Um, that's what we try to be: best prepared team, get all the information right, and, and get fired into Keefley. It's sure. It's obviously been a long time since they've been down. Um, it's not too far from us, so hopefully we'll get a bit of decent weather and, and get them over. Get that's not that too long a drive, 25, 30 minutes. Get a good crowd over and, and hopefully enjoy another good game. Hopefully it's not um, not as stressful um, leading into them final moments, and we can we can build on today's performance. A brutal cup tie at times. Um, probably some bruised and battered bodies and that changing news. Any injury news after that? Um, Jake Mason wasn't well today. I don't. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but he looked um, a funny shade of white. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, did well to get through, and we, we don't have big numbers, might we speak about it weekly? But you know, this week, Nick Ross, Fawn, Groin, uh, Tibbs is still struggling a little bit with a knee. Also, we've got Kyle Wood pulled his groin in. Who do we play? Battle, battle game. So that 24 players is getting a bit skinnier at the moment, so we've got a bit of work to do on that front. Um, but um, I think today it will literally be just bumps. Um, I don't think anyone's coming off with anything to worry about, so hopefully that gives us at least 21 to have a look at next week.